So after two years at Caddy Box, I jumped ship. I got a phone call from Profix. They said, hey, we want to offer you something better. Um, and I thought about it. It's a software company, uh, technology industry, very different from agency. Um, it was B2B, so I would be essentially working with a team, marketing to other businesses. So very, very different from agency. And I said, you know what? I'll take the opportunity, try something different, and go into more of a corporate environment. So I started there in 2011. Uh, I've been there ever since. And I lo absolutely love working at Profix. It's a great company, great corporate culture. And because it's a technology company and because we develop software, um, it's a very innovative environment. And they culture a lot of innovation. So you know, it's, it's, it's a, great, a great place to work. The Career Center was my go-to. That's where I found my job at Gourmet Express. It's where I was able to get more information on the internship with round five in the UFC. You know, that was my go-to spot to just find out, well, what are people looking for? What can I do? What is there, what is, what's the offering? Um, you know, join the Humber experience, coming to events like this, uh, joining the OCMC, participating in the classroom projects, you know, being, um, being part of the movement because it really is a movement. Being part of the movement um, kind of opens you up to all sorts of different opportunities. And that was something that I realized uh, while I was um, a student here. And it's hard work. It's hard work, you know, because it's a very competitive industry. So you definitely have to make sure you stand out and you have to be committed. You have to do the hard work. It's not going to come very easy. So definitely hard work is, was something that um, that was part of the program, really. Um, Self-learning, you know, part of being in events like this and coming here and hearing about how people are actually doing well in the industry, you're learning about maybe a new program or a new process or a new job type. And, and doing that self-learning is very important. Google is everybody's best friend. You know, you Google, you learn, watch demos, because when you walk out these doors, you know, it's important that you walk into an interview, you walk into a company with basic knowledge of, I don't want to say everything, but key things. And you know there are uh, only so much that you can learn in the classroom. It's important to kind of extend that knowledge outside of the classroom. And be persistent. Be creative. You know, it's important, especially as marketers, we are allowed to be a little bit eccentric. We could be a little creative. Um, you know, that allows you to kind of stand out in in the crowd and in the masses. And, the, and of course, I can't forget the continued support that I did get from my, my teachers and my colleagues here at Humber definitely contributed to the success that I had here. So there's no limit to digital marketing growth. Uh, it's an evolving industry. I mean, it's evolved since I've joined it back in 2011. And because it's so digitally and technology, pe technologically pegged, uh, as we develop more things like apps, you know, app marketing and app uh, programs was something that didn't exist seven, eight years ago. Now everyone's got an app. We even have apps and we sell software to finance executives. You know, so it's like when you keep up with the times in terms of how people are communicating, because how we're communicating is changing and evolving all the time, marketing and digital marketing will evolve with that. So it's there's still room. There's room for everybody to get that, to get that little piece, piece of the pie. You know, the thing about digital marketing is that it it's about being online. Like you have to actually be online. It's it's one of those things like Ashley, I remember when she submitted her resume for the internship offering that we did, she sent me a website. It was, it was like a profile website. And I was like, oh, that's cool. That's different. I, I'm Because I'm not one to read paper um, resumes. You know, after a while, you kind of see them all. You, you see one, you see them all. But that website stood out to me because I was like, oh, wow. And I'm a digital marketer. So anything that's on my screen automatically captures my interest. So you know, that sort of um, building that online professional um, profile is very important. And my last tip is don't be afraid to take small, small, a small role. 
don't be afraid to start as the, in that little intern role or the little part-time job or maybe they're not paying you enough and you know you're like crap I really want that big job because it's these little small opportunities that eventually lead to bigger ones you know so I would say don't be afraid to, to take something small but keep your you know keep focus on your end goal like keep focus on what you're what you're going for and then eventually the the journey will take you there